A big thank you to today's sponsor, HelloFresh. As you guys know, we've talked about in the past how we use HelloFresh here in our home, not only because it's fantastic, but due to Jason's condition with dementia, everybody knows that if you follow along, he absolutely loves to cook, but cooking now is a little bit more difficult than it has been in the past. The recipe cards are so simple and easy to follow. This is something that has helped us keep Jason going just like he used to and brings him a lot of joy. Fall can be such a busy time of the season and ordering HelloFresh is one of the best things you can do. Not only are the meals delicious, simple, easy, Everything comes ready to go for you and meals are done 30 minutes or less. So not only can you save time, money, and stress, it works with your schedule. Plans are completely flexible and you can change your meal preferences, update your delivery date, all in the easy HelloFresh app. So for 65% off and free shipping, use code ACHARMINGABODE65. The link will be down in the description box. That looks delicious. One pan Santa Fe pork tacos. Mm -hmm. First time we've ever had it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, let's give it a try. Do you have a favorite HelloFresh recipe? Mm. I like almost every, I don't think there's been one single one I haven't liked, but I, you know what my favorite is? Creamy dill chicken. <laughs> okay, that's hilarious that you do that. <laughs> that's like my all-time favorite. Do you, is that your all-time favorite also, or do you have one now? No, like oh. Bulgogi. I do like the bulgogi, which we have in this box. I'm super excited about. I also like um, the cherry pork chops with the mm. couscous. Mm. I can't remember the official name of it, but it's so good. It's like one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. So if you guys want to enjoy HelloFresh also, go to HelloFresh.com and use code ACHARMINGABODE65. The link will be down in the description box. Cheers. <laughs> Okay, let's get started decorating this room. And if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up.
Okay, so when deciding on what we wanted to put in here in the room, it was pretty hilarious. So Jason originally wanted like tufted leathered furniture, very Ernest Hemingway. And this is actually a porch, so I I was struggling with that a little bit, but I also wanted to give him what he wanted. But I didn't want you to come into my home and have a living room and then a living room. I wanted this to be a very outdoor feel and that kind of thing. And so <laughs> That was the biggest thing on deciding what kind of furniture to put out here and like what aesthetic. And so we went with this kind of manly, contemporary black outdoor furniture because, and the rug being an outdoor rug, because then that way I can take this outside and wash this off and not have to worry about it. And I thought that would be such a great idea. I am learning though that this black shows dust, it's driving me crazy. But I really like it for its metal, so for its stability. So I think it was a really good choice. I did buy it locally at Nebraska Furniture Mart. So I don't know if I'll be able to list it because I got it at an end of the summer clearance. And so it was perfect. And then just putting a few little decor touches in here and not a lot because I want this to feel like Jason's space. I put this adorable cigar sign because he has his humidor out here to where if he has his friends over and he can, him and his friends want to have a cigar. And of course he wanted an atomic clock. That way he can monitor the temperature in here. I thought it'd be fun to put a cute little things just like this little tic-tac-toe game. We have a lot of little neighborhood kids that come in and my nieces and nephews and grandkids. And that way that's always here for them to play. And then on top of that, I didn't want a bunch of like frilly girly throw pillows. I just wanted a couple on each sofa. I'm trying to have like maximum seating out here for when everybody comes over. This place is all about not being stuffy, being super relaxed, lots of seating and just a real chill environment. I'm not gonna hang a bunch of girly things on the walls, which I know is probably very surprising to you guys how minimal there is in here, but something that I wanna to recommend to you guys. So we just got this space done and we got this furniture in here. And to be honest, I need a little bit of time to see how we're functioning and that type of thing. So that is something that I definitely recommend for you. Don't rush to decorate because you don't really know what the space needs or what the vibe is or just kind of like what you really feel like you want in that space. So. For now, I am going to leave it as it is. I'm not going to add any more decor until after we've lived here for a while. So don't ever feel like you have to rush to decorate. One thing, if you're wondering what these red wires are hanging down, uh, Jason is having speakers installed in here. He wanted to be able to have his music out here. It's very important to him. And so that they haven't arrived yet. So we are waiting on those. We'll go ahead and we'll put them, but then I feel like I'm gonna push the whole room that way. But. You excited? Yes. Do you think we can go up and around that way? We did it over this okay, way last that's time. Fine. Jason's getting a recliner. <laughs> Actually, this looks so nice in here. This is a good color. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, Evie. Got to check it out. Okay. Can you get down and help me aim that in? Let's open that one. Get our little cross breeze going. Okay. All right. There you go. Moment is true. Let's check this out. Oh, yeah. That's got to get broken. Pop it up, Big Daddy. Yeah? Yeah, this is the place to be right now. <laughs> Let's get an official opinion. Oh, yeah. There we go. What do you Ian. think? What do you think? Oh, I think it is. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. It's so nice. I think she approves. What do you think? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> I thought maybe it'd be fun for you to tell everyone about the cool features that you put into this room that you really wanted. So, a couple of things I was. Um, excited about one you can't see the heated floors which there was an awful lot of skepticism from people who live in this house but shall remain nameless 
<laughs> um, but the first morning they were on. Amazing. Yep. Um, and then the big fan. I was excited about that. Um, and then just the windows and the cross flow of air. because The Mr. Cool. Oh, yeah. And then air conditioning and heater. So, you know, anybody that has been to the Midwest understands. But if you have not been to the Midwest, there's a saying. If you don't like the weather, wait an hour. So you can literally get up in the morning, have to shovel snow and need your air conditioner by the afternoon because the changes of weather here are, it's oppressively hot in the summer and ridiculously cold in the winter. So closing it in, an air conditioner and a heater to make this room just always comfortable to be in. And then a nice TV to just hang out and chill. I was gonna say you got your big TV. With my chair. Uh-huh, and you got a refrigerator for drinks. Mm -hmm. You got um, something else that you wanted in here, a fireplace. Mm -hmm. You were mm -hmm. concerned about being cold. So you got cold. heated floors, a heater, and a fireplace. That's right. And then to stay cool, mm -hmm. you have an air conditioner, mm -hmm. a ton of windows, and a big fan. Mm -hmm. I think those were the main features that you like really wanted in here. Mm -hmm. And then now you got your recliner and Evie looks pretty doggone happy. It's all about Evie. It is, she is, I think she's accepted it. I think so. It's snuggy and buggy. <laughs> <laughs> One thing that we really loved about these chairs is we wanted them to be able to swivel, especially for me. Look, I, that way I can swivel around to the fireplace because I love in the winter to be right up on top of the fireplace. That is part of the reason why I had a hearth placed in here. Originally I was not going to have a hearth, it was going to go straight down and be more modern. But then I love to sit right next to the fireplace. Okay, another thing that you guys commented on that I thought I would address really quick was the fact that we did not put a mantle up here. It was built in order to have a mantle, so if I change my mind in the future, we can do so. But with the size of this TV that we have up here, a mantle would just be pretty ridiculous looking. I felt like it would be like too crowded and it would have to be the entire length in order to even remotely look correct. So. Right now, until I wait and see, but I'm opting for no mantle. And then the one thing in the room that I wanted for myself was a place to put my plants because I'm not a plant lady, but I wanna pretend I am. So we have a lot, a lot of yard work. Oh, here he starts Jason. I thought I was gonna beat him. <laughs> so, in the last video, I never got to show you guys this beautiful retaining wall that is down here. It is a mess under here right now. Leaves everywhere. So it's gonna be really cute under here when I get done. It's gonna be like a patio and it's gonna have my fire pit over here and it's gonna be all set up. This is grass seed getting ready to get done in the backyard so we can get this all made over. So that's gonna be awesome. And then Sorry, the lighting's really weird because of the sun, so it's leaving a terrible shadow. But we had, hi, we had this uh, patio poured over here. This is by the back door. And then this is the unit that is going into the room. Um, it's the Mr. Cool split. So it does heating and cooling. And I will leave a link for that down below because a lot of you guys were asking about that. And I still have to get the outside piece that like goes over this and then set this correctly, but it was pulled away because uh, the siding was getting painted. But the cool part about this is we are getting a ceiling under here. So they will be back, Travis will be back to spray foam this and then it's going to have a metal roof under here. We have really beautiful lighting that is in here at night and the stairs light up. So it's gonna be another really awesome utilized space. And so, Bob, who did all the stonework on the fireplace and the retaining wall over there, came back and built a matching one for this side, which you can't even see because of the sun. I might come back out later and see if I can film it with better lighting. So this spring, I'm gonna do an entire like yard makeover video of everything that we're going to be doing um, because this back fence is coming down. We actually have a huge, beautiful yard. And when we moved in, it was, um, the fence was put here. And it's been great for the dogs, but I don't need it the way that it is. So we're gonna redo all that. And 
Jason is obsessed with his tractor. Like he can do nothing else, but he will come down here and mess with his tractor. It's hilarious. <laughs> a lot of you guys have said that it looked like we lived, that was like a tree house, which it kind of does. Um, I'm still making my mind, like I was saying, about what I want to do with these beams right here. And then also we have some finished work that's going to be done on the side of the stairs to just make it look a little bit more finished. So I was saying on Instagram that it's really great because this from the side just goes with the house. You like, it doesn't stick out. You don't notice anything from the street. And then underneath over here, we'll definitely be showing you guys all this in the spring. Ignore his grill that's sitting right there. But this area is gonna, we have a really cool landscaping idea. And then we also got the Edison bulbs to hang down here on the ceiling and they will be dimmable. So I'm super excited. I think a hanging day bed is needed under here. I think that would be awesome. Are you a sunbathing ween? Look at you. Oh, this is the place to be, isn't it? Oh, is he always laying in the sun? And he's like, mom, I'm hot. <laughs> Yeah, they love it out here. They're just out here with us constantly, aren't ya? 